The Exocet MM38, a ship-launched anti-ship missile developed by the French company Aerospatial, holds a legendary place in naval warfare history. Introduced in the early 1970s, this missile quickly became one of the most respected and widely exported weapons of its kind. Though now retired, the MM38's operational effectiveness, combat record, and strategic impact made it one of the best anti-ship missiles in the world during its service life. What set the MM38 apart from its contemporaries was its precision, compact size, and fire-and-forget capability. Weighing about 735 kilograms and measuring approximately 5.1 meters in length, the missile was relatively small and easy to install on a wide variety of naval vessels. This flexibility allowed smaller navies, not just major powers, to field a credible sea denial capability. With a range of roughly 42 kilometers, the MM38 was designed for coastal defense and medium-range engagements, giving ships the ability to strike enemy vessels before coming within gun range. Powered by a solid propellant booster for launch and a turbojet engine for cruising, the missile maintained subsonic speeds while flying just a few meters above the sea. This sea-skimming flight path made it incredibly hard to detect and intercept, especially for ships with outdated radar or limited electronic warfare systems. The guidance system was a combination of inertial navigation for mid-course and active radar homing for terminal guidance. This enabled the missile to autonomously track and home in on its target in the final phase, even in cluttered maritime environments. The warhead of the MM38 weighed around 165 kilograms, consisting of a high explosive fragmentation charge designed to penetrate the hulls of ships and detonate inside, maximizing damage. Upon impact, the warhead could cause catastrophic internal destruction, fires, and potentially lead to the sinking of the target vessel. This made the MM38 a credible threat to destroyers, frigates, and even larger capital ships if multiple missiles were employed in a saturation attack. The Exocet MM38 gained global fame and notoriety during the Falklands War in 1982. Used by Argentine forces against the British Royal Navy, the missile achieved two of the most high-profile kills in modern naval history. The British destroyer HMS Sheffield was struck by an Exocet, resulting in the ship eventually sinking due to fire damage and loss of control. Days later, the missile was used again in a strike on the merchant ship Atlantic Conveyor, which was transporting critical helicopters and supplies for British ground forces. These incidents shocked naval planners around the world and immediately prompted widespread interest in both Exocet systems and anti-missile defenses. The events proved that even a technologically superior navy was vulnerable to small, fast, and smart anti-ship missiles. Following the Falklands, many countries reassessed their ship defense systems, and several NATO and non-NATO countries began investing heavily in countermeasures such as close-in weapon systems CIWS, electronic jamming equipment, and decoy launchers. Ironically, this enhanced the strategic value of the MM38 and its successors because it triggered a global arms race in naval missile warfare. The missile's psychological impact was as powerful as its kinetic damage, proving that missiles like the MM38 could shift the balance in naval conflict scenarios. The M38 was eventually replaced by newer and more capable variants like the MM40 Exocet, which extended range, improved electronics, and introduced land attack capability. Nevertheless, the MM38 served reliably across several decades with over 25 navies, proving its worth in diverse operational conditions from the Atlantic to the Pacific, and from calm waters to high-tension war zones. Its modularity and ease of integration allowed it to be mounted on various classes of ships, including patrol boats, corvettes, and frigates. Although retired, the legacy of the Exocet MM38 lives on in modern naval doctrine and in the design principles of future missile systems. It demonstrated the value of precision-guided munitions in maritime warfare and changed how navies plan for surface engagements. The missile was more than a weapon, it was a symbol of strategic deterrence and technological ingenuity, representing a turning point in modern naval history.